So uh, the Northern Lonet project started as a fourth year design project for a group of engineering students under uh, Professor Scott Bucking. So I gave uh, five students the challenge of designing a net zero energy and net zero water house. Uh, they widely exceeded my expectations, so it really came from those uh, students' ambitions that made this happen. They were tasked to design a tiny house that was net zero energy, as in a house that would consume as much energy as it uses per year. If the sun shines in three to five days, this house will sort of run um, perpetually. We have 14 solar panels in the roof that generate uh, four kilowatts of uh, peak power. We're going into an instrumentation phase starting in the fall that will set a time trajectory of probably two years that will actually look in how this house performs. We are implementing a device called Atmospheric Water Generator, which is a device that pulls moisture out of the air, purifies it, and store it on, on, uh, on board, basically. So if you have the sun, now you have power and water. You know, as much as uh, professors sometimes take the lead on these things. This is really a story of uh, very passionate students who uh, make this project happen. I'm in charge of the uh, mechanical system and the home automation of the project. I just fell in love with it. I realized I, I love building science, I love efficiency, I love uh, sustainable living, things like this. I am designing the whole interior of the living room in this tiny house project. I was able to deal with larger project which includes like designing the whole environment, the ambience, the mood of it. Well, it, it dives basically into everything that I'm into which is automation, a building, um, energy efficiency. One thing that uh, was always uh, I sought after highly was um, you know really trying to push the limits of sustainability. You know it sets like a stepping stone towards what we're striving for, which is a way more efficient way to model stuff and to be able to produce these tiny homes. You get to live within, live in the house without thinking about how do I be more sustainable. The house will actually uh, function sustainably without you operating it. Projects like this are very important, first of all, because it makes us rethink the way we live. As a designer, I always consider the environment and it's very important to keep this environment um, healthy. The important thing is partly on pushing the limit in sustainability, but then also getting the leaders of the future who are the um, undergrads and graduate students uh, working hands-on and then sort of having them uh, really be the leaders of the future and pushing this forward. 